So if you've ever questioned, do people pay attention to fonts on Etsy? The answer is yes. Believe it or not, <laughs> there are some fonts that really make, you know, or break whether or not a product is popular, especially when you know your audience, okay? You can really sell some good stuff by choosing the right font. A clear example would be script font, okay? So script fonts are typically catered towards women, okay, towards girls. And let's be real, cute things sell well, okay? So whether you put a script font or cursive font, I'm using script as a synonym for cursive, but whether you use like script font for, you know, stationary products, mugs, tumblers, maybe they gonna eat that up, okay? So a script font is one of the first fonts I suggest you start looking into when it comes to to selling products on Etsy. I personally have a good testimony about a script font because one of my best sellers, okay, is a product with a script font. Now, this is where you can start being creative and start like changing the color of the script font. If it comes with special characters like glyphs, I'll insert an example right here or right here of what I mean by a glyph, meaning that when you download a font package, typically it comes with those special characters. So you might have like an exaggerated end of like an S or a T or a heart. Whatever the case may be, script fonts are really popular, okay? And if you're just getting started, especially selling like print on demand products, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. A lot of these fonts are offered to you commercial free, okay? So that way all you have to do is just download them, figure out your branding, what you're actually gonna sell, and slap it on the product, okay? It is that simple. I don't mean to be shady, okay? But people are simple when it comes to buying a product on Etsy. And so a script font is really simple to design. You don't have to overthink it. And I think that it's one of the best ways to get started, especially if you're working on, you know, trying to figure out what to sell. Text-based designs should not be slept on because they are still one of the best selling, you know, I don't want to say niches, but maybe it is a niche. They're the best selling things you can do when, you know, being an e-commerce seller in general. So the first font I want to share with you is, you know, start with the script font. Start with some cursive, okay? Add that that little pizzazz to that tumbler, to that mug, to that, that notebook, right? But script fonts are really well, especially if you're catering to women. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be good. The second best selling font that I have seen, okay, that's selling well on Etsy is a serif font. Now your serif fonts are gonna look like your basic typography fonts. Like when I say basic, I mean bare bones basic. But believe it or not, okay, because people are simple, you don't have to overcomplicate things. Serif fonts, if you are creative, you can stack them, you can make them in different type of sizes to where, you know, it just looks more dimensional when you're putting it on a product. But serif fonts are also really popular. I think of mugs when it comes to serif fonts because sometimes, you know, you have to think about your audience. And when it comes to serif fonts, just like typing something out, but having like a sarcastic saying, a funny saying or whatever, it sells well because sometimes people just really like the actual the thought of the idea, right? What you put into the, the, the font, what you type out versus the font itself, if that makes sense. So think about those serif fonts as well when it comes to designing your product. Another thing to point out when it comes to both the script fonts and the serif fonts is that when you apply like different font effects, it really just takes your design up a notch, okay? So you don't have to sit there and just look at the screen and just be like, why does this look so plain and boring? When you add these different text effects, it gives you a more, more of a leverage basically to just have a diversified, you know, creative outlook on things. And that way you can just offer it on different types of products. So even though I keep saying, yes, this fine is basic. It's basic. It's up to you. Okay. Yes. You, my friend to put your own sauce on these fonts to make sure they're going to sell well. Now I have totally seen people using straight out of the box fonts and they are selling really well. But like I've said before in previous videos, what works works for other sellers may not work for you. So I want you to keep that in mind when it comes to, you know, deciding on what font you want to start out with. If you're new to selling on Etsy and selling print on demand, you can practically sit on my bag. So at this point I'm putting my glasses on. Okay. Yes. So the last font style I want to bring up is like the retro style font. Now this font has taken over a lot of products, especially
especially t-shirts. I'll pull up an example of the retro style font I'm talking about right here, but it's really just that chunky, psychedelic, that 70s show style font that people really love. And speaking of, you know, different font effects, if you add like a curve effect or a wavy pattern to this retro style font, it really ups your chances of really just getting more sales. This font by far to me does not look like it's going out of style anytime soon. In fact, it's very trendy when it comes to, you know, like I said, t-shirts, apparel, sometimes even mugs. And when you add like different colors to it, it can really take your designs up a notch. So the, the premise of this video is to really encourage you to start with the basics when it comes to fonts. But, you know, as you grow as a creative, a creative entrepreneur, you know, an e-commerce seller, you want to learn and recognize how to put your own spin on things, okay? How to put the stank on your designs. And when I say that, I mean that even though you can take a script font, a serif font, a retro style font, and plop it on a product, it's up to you to go beyond that and just say, hey, let me go ahead and add like a 3D shading. Let me add different colors to this just so you can, you know, stand out from what everybody else is doing. <laughs> so when I typically start doing my product research on Etsy, these are one of the three fonts I notice. And so this is why I want to suggest these three first, but there's so many other fonts that you can dive into. But if it was up to me and if I was starting from scratch, I would definitely start, you know, with the script font, with those, with the serif font, with their retro font, because it's going to be easy to just navigate your way through it and just build from there. And from these three fonts, you could just kind of see what's working and what's not working. But trust me when I say, now that you've kind of are more aware of the best selling fonts to, you know, start using now, I feel like now you're going to start recognizing them as you're doing your own product research. Now, if your next step is to figure out where to find those fonts, I have a resource for you, Creative Fabrica, which I'll link down below. This is where I typically get a lot of my fonts, if not all of them, okay? So I have the annual plan, and so that means I'm able to just grab each and everything that I see that kind of resonates with my, with my shop, honestly, with my brand. And so they have so many different font styles, but the three specifically with this video, you know, the script, the serif, and the retro, you can find so many different options of all of these in Creative Fabrica. And they have that built-in commercial free license. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting in trouble basically <laughs> when it comes to using something and putting it on a product to sell for a profit. So Creative Fabrica is super safe to use. I use it all the time, okay? I will not tell you if I didn't use it, but also, you know, it's just really a great resource when it comes to selling print on demand, selling e-commerce, getting started. So that's where I would start. And trust me when I say, you're gonna find them fonts I'm talking about. I actually guarantee you will. <laughs> so if you are a beginner and you're trying to think of your creative strategy, I will start with text-based designs, specifically with these fonts. So if you have any questions, of course, leave them down for me below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're liking the vibe and I'm gonna catch you in my next video. Bye y'all.